What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the Whiskey Hideaway. This is cocktail number eight, I think, uh, of the Bourbon Bartender Guide. And with me, my buddy Jack come over and he's like, hey, man. What's up? What's up? I want some whiskey sours, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Right. So, uh, whiskey sour, boom. Here it is in the book. And we're doing it, we're going to do it three different ways, okay? So, the first way, we're supposed to put one in a rocks glass, one in a coupe, which I don't have a coupe. So, that's the only thing that I don't have this to go around. And then the, the third way is the, well, it's the second way, only we add an egg into the mix. Okay, so uh, the first one's going to be two ounces of your bourbon, a half ounce of Demerara syrup, uh, then uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and half an ounce of orange juice, and then an orange or cocktail cherry for garnish. Okay, so we're going to shake that up with some ice, double strain it into a rocks glass, boom, we're done with the first one. All right, with the second one, we're going to do, again, two ounces of bourbon, uh, three-fourths of an ounce of Demerara syrup, uh, three-fourths of an ounce of lemon juice, and then a lemon for garnish. Same thing, shake with ice, double strain into a chilled coupe glass with a garnish of a lemon twist. All right, now I'm going to try and do the whole lemon twist thing, but I, again, not a, not a bartender, <laughs> don't know how to do all that fancy stuff. And then the third one, same recipe as the second one, except we're going to dry shake all of the ingredients first uh, and, and include an egg in the mix, egg white okay. to be more specific. And then uh, then shake it again with ice and then pour it into a, a glass with uh, ice. So that's the recipes for those of you that wanna do this at home. Uh, um, now we're gonna do it here. And then we're each going to try all three of these and see which one's our favorite. Sounds like a plan. I've had the one with the egg. Yeah. At a at a place uh, in Cherokee, uh, North Carolina, uh, at Harris, at their bar right in their lobby. Yeah. Oh, it was the best whiskey sour I've ever had. So you're gonna um, top it though, right? I'm hoping. <laughs> we can only hope. All right. So let's get to it. <laughs> Bartending skills aren't any better than they were the, after the last time, right? But I have improved a little bit as far as like the, the materials that I've got going on here. So I've got some new stuff that I've actually got an entire bar kit, mixing kit for the shed now instead of bringing my stuff from uh, my bar cart in the house. There you go. So, uh, and yes, uh, you saw right, we are using 
Buffalo Trace in this one. I just cracked open this bottle. Got it uh, this past weekend for Father's Day. Yippee ki -yay. And <laughs> <laughs> so we got number one, number two, and number three. So let's see which ones we like the best. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm leaning for this one. Uh, for that one. I mean, it looks the fanciest, if anything. It does, you know? honestly. So, uh, I'm going to still stick to number one, I think. I'm going to let you go ahead and try take, take a sip of that one. Tell, you, tell us what you think on that one. It's really good. Okay. All right. I do like it. Let me, let me give it a try. I'll start from the other side. Right, get in there. Yeah, <laughs> get in there. It's all good. It's okay. <laughs> mm, that's like a really good lemonade. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't even taste the bourbon in it. I don't either. But it is very, it's well balanced. It's not too overly sweet. Like I mentioned to you, I'm big on citrus, though. So the fact it's got the, the lemon and the orange juice in there. I love orange juice. I, people, a long time ago, when I first started drinking my own little cocktails, that's what I used to do. I was like, cheap, I would, you know, being cheap about it. And I would just get a bourbon and orange juice over oh, ice. Yeah. Dude, oh, and everybody yeah. was like, why? Why, man? Why? <laughs> And I'm like, hey, you drink what you like, all right? That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and try this uh, second one now. See what you let's think on this here. one. So there's no orange juice in this one, but it does have an orange peel on there for garnish. And though it did say you could use a cocktail cherry for garnish on these, I didn't bring my cocktail cherries out here for this time. Ooh. What do you think? I'm getting more of the syrup now for sure without the orange juice. I definitely know that. Well, there's the, the, there's a big difference in color from this one to this For one. For sure. But well, I think that's because of the orange juice. Was there more syrup in that one too, though? There was. There there was, was, there was that was only half an ounce, and this was three quarters of an ounce. I believe so. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's mm. really good. That is very, very good. So, it did definitely take a step up. Uh, from, sure. from the first one. I mean, that is a great lemonade. Mm -hmm. This one is, that's a good cocktail. Mm -hmm. You know, it's well balanced. Um, yeah, that came out really good. Okay. All right, man, I'm going to let you take first crack at the at the fancy one here with the egg white in it and everything. Already. Let's see here. Go for it, man. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? I'm starting to think you called it. Man. That's, a, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. It's that? a good cocktail there. Oh. Yeah. Mm. The the inclusion of the air, because when you dry shake all those ingredients and you, and you dry shake that egg white in there and it froths up mm -hmm. and then you add in the ice and chill it, oh, it just takes it to a different level. Yeah. Yeah, I picked the wrong one. That's good for a nice summer hot day, though. If you're outside, oh, that'd be great. But absolutely. I would say cocktail-wise, yeah. These, yeah. These are bringing I mean, a lot more. I in. never really thought about adding orange juice into a uh, whiskey sour, honestly. Yeah. I mean, every up until now, the only thing that I've ever done is just get sour mix from the grocery store yeah. and throw it in with some whiskey and ice, you know? <laughs> Call it a day. And I, and I thought that was okay. <laughs> to hell with that. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> However... The one thing that I did do for this was this, uh, and you may have seen me using this little uh, glass right here. This, I actually squeezed the lemons. I squeezed about three lemons for this and then had the uh, the last one so that we could garnish it. And of course, the we just got um, simply orange for our orange juice. I, I didn't wasn't going to go that far. But uh, yeah, everything else was, uh, was legit. <laughs> so. Indeed. Cool. All right, so honestly, I, I'm I'm ranking it the, the way that we did it. One, two, and three. You know? I honestly agree now, with that. Well, I mean, this is actually in reverse. This is number one. <laughs> right, 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 right. I know what you two meant, Two and though. three. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Like I said, it, it, it definitely just it just graduated as we sipped. Yeah. Like I, said, I, I I was hoping to like this one the most, but as I took a sip of that one, I was like, nah. Yeah. And yeah. then that one, definitely not. <laughs> so cool. that's the best one. I agree. All right. Well, cool. Well, now that we have our refreshing drinks, I'm going to turn the AC back on because it is boiling hot in here without it. It's a hot, hot summer down here in North Carolina. So uh, guys, thank you for joining us on this uh, latest episode of the Bourbon Bartender Cocktails. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bye guys. See ya.